Hi guys, it's Miss Stacy. So this week we're talking about autumn and all the different things that you can see, that you can hear, and that you can feel in autumn. So I went for a walk outside around our school. Maybe if you're at your house, you can go for a walk outside around your house or in your neighborhood. And you can see if you can find some different fall things. And then you can try using your different senses with all of them. So we're going to talk about things that we can listen to, things that we can touch, and things that we can look at. All right? So first, how about we talk about some things that we can listen to? So these are some acorns. I actually found these in my yard at my house. Right now, there's acorns everywhere. When they fall, the squirrels knock them down from the trees, and you can hear them go boom on your grass if they're in your yard or on the street. But when you put them into a container, you put them on the table, they make a really loud noise like this. You hear that? You can make them drop. Or we can shake it. Usually to make a noise like that, we need some kind of instrument, right? We can make a noise like this. But we don't even need an instrument. Now. We can just find some acorns. We can put them in here. And have a shake. Or we can put them in our hands and we can hear them go... Crash. So that's a pretty cool noise. Another noise that sometimes you can hear in the autumn is leaves squishing together. So when the leaves are on the trees, they're nice and green and they're soft, and then they start to turn cool colors, right? And you can see the different colors, but then eventually they start to get really dry. And when they're dry, if you squish it or you step on it, you hear that crinkly sound. Do you hear that? Let's see if we have some more dry ones. Ready? Listen. Can you hear that crunchy noise? So if you're walking and lots of dry leaves outside and you step on one or your wheel of your wheelchair or your stroller goes over one, you hear this crunchy noise. And I know some of you like that crunchy noise because it sounds just like our space blanket, right? Can you hear that big crunchy noise? And we hear, let's find another squishy one here. That squishy noise from the leaves, just like that funny noise in our space blanket. So those are some cool things that you can listen to in the autumn. There's also lots of things to feel. So around our school, we have lots of big pine cones. See these big pine cones? They feel rough if you put your finger on it. It's all bumpy, your finger goes down and up and down and up and down and up and it feels rough. Kind of like a ball like this that has bumps. So your finger feels the rough on these big pine cones. But some pine cones are more smooth. See that? So my finger's not going down and up and down and up and down and up. It's just going smooth. This pine cone feels smooth and then these acorns feel smooth too. Usually an acorn has, uh-oh, I threw my acorn at you. Did you see that? We'll find a different one. So see this acorn? It has a top on it, but sometimes the squirrels knock those off until all you have is this round part. So that round part feels smooth, just like this pine cone. And if you feel a leaf that's not crunchy yet, just a regular leaf, that feels nice and smooth too. So I just had my friend Nemo over here. Some of you guys remember Nemo. And he feels nice and smooth. My finger's not going down and up and down and up and down and up. Like it did on the bumpy ball. But it just feels nice and smooth. Alright. So we listened to things. We felt smooth and rough. And one of the other cool things is just looking at all the different things you can see outside in autumn. So you can see the things we've already talked about, right? You can see the pine cones, you can see acorns, and then you can see leaves that are all different colors. So the first things we looked at, the pine cones and the acorns, they were mostly brown, right? There's a lot of brown things outside. More in the winter, but even in autumn, there's lots of things that are brown. But other things, like in the summer, in the beginning of autumn, you see lots of things that are green, right? So some acorns are still green when you see them. And the leaves, when you just see leaves on the trees, let's see if we have some that are just green. So the leaves on the trees start out mostly green, right? 
So it's a green leaf, just like our green marker. So let's make some green on the top of our paper. All right, so the first color that we looked at was our green leaf. But then they start to change. They don't change right away. You start to see different colors on the leaves, right? So this leaf, it started out green still, and then it started to get some red. See this one too? Started out green, and then it started to get some red on the sides, right? So on our paper, we started with green, and now we're gonna add some red. All right, so those are the two colors we saw in the leaves so far. And then, when autumn keeps going on longer, we start to see other colors. So you can see it if you look really up close on here. See how there's some orange starting to come up there? And you can see it on this leaf. It started off with just that red and red here, and then it started to turn orange. So our next color that sometimes we can see is orange. So we're gonna add some orange to our paper. So now look at the three colors that we saw so far in the leaves. So we saw green, we saw red, and we saw orange. And then we start to see, do we know what this color is? It's like my shirt. These are my favorite color leaves to find because I think they're really pretty. So what color is this? All of these leaves and the bottom of this leaf that we looked at before are yellow, right? So they're yellow, like our yellow marker and like my yellow shirt. So we'll put some yellow on our paper. So these are the colors that we saw so far. And then after the yellow comes that other color that we were talking about before, right? So it starts off yellow and then you start to see some brown, right? I think we have a leaf here. Where'd it go? See, this one was turning from yellow to brown, right? It's getting a little bit brown and then it starts to get more brown. By the time autumn is ending and it gets to be winter, we see lots of brown leaves on the ground. And they match our brown pine cones and our brown acorns, right? So we have some brown, so we'll add some brown to our paper. So look at that. We found leaves that were how many different colors? One, two, three, four, five. Five different color leaves we found outside, right? And they're all in here, all these different colors. They're so pretty to look at when you start to see them coming off the trees, right? All different colors. So we looked with our eyes at the leaves, and we looked at the pine cones, and we looked at the different colors of acorns, but we also felt things with our hands, right? So we felt the bumpy pine cones that were going up and down and up and down. Sorry, the table's shaking. There we go. Up and down and up and down. Just like our ball that was bumpy and went up and down, right? And we felt the other pine cone that was smooth just like our smooth leaves and our smooth acorn those were smooth just like Nemo nice and smooth your fingers not going up and down it's just smooth and then we listen to things right we listen to those really loud acorns and we're making that big noise just like this And then we listen to our soft, crunchy leaves that sounded like our crinkly face All right? So if you go outside right now, if you can walk anywhere around your house or in your neighborhood, or maybe if you can go to a park, then you can see what you can find, so that you can see with your eyes, that you can listen to with your ears, and that you can feel with your hands. All right? I hope you have fun. Bye.